In this video, we will learn how to make our cloud function read HTTP request parameters that are passed via URL query string. And in my previous video, I already used one of them. So in this video, I will come up with a better request parameter. Let's, for example, assume that your cloud function need to accept first name. So I will create an HTTP request parameter with a name first name and then a value Sergey. And if you need to add more parameters, you add n sign and then, for example, last name equals and then the value of the request parameter and then hit enter for this request to execute. So let's now go back to our cloud function. And in my previous uh, video, I've mentioned that if we use HTTP type function like on request, and if our function receives an HTTP request, it will be triggered and we will be given two objects, request and response. So we can use request object to read this HTTP request parameters. So let's use it to read our first name and I will add a new line here. I will define a new constant and I'll call it first name and I will use request object and then I will need to use query object and then from query object I can directly access first name like so. And then I can use this constant and add it to my response string that I'm sending out. Hello from and then first name. And I can also log this message into a console so that as developer, I can see what's going on in my code. And to log your messages into a console, you use console object and then log. And then you provide a string, for example, HTTP request parameter received. And then we add first name plus and last name and we add last name like so and now because we made changes to our cloud function we will need to redeploy it so i'll go back to my terminal window and i will run firebase deploy again my cloud function has been redeployed and i'm given the url so i'll copy it I'll go back to my browser window. I will run it without sending HTTP request parameters. And it says hello from undefined. This is because I did not provide HTTP request parameters. So I will now provide first name equals Sergey and last name equals Kargapolov. And so that it doesn't cache, let's pass something else. T equals and hit enter. And here we go. We have hello from Sergey, and the first name is printed out. And the second parameter, last name, we are printing out in our console. So let's go back to the terminal window. And the second URL that we are given here is project console. So I'll copy this and then open it in my browser window. Paste it. And here's my project dashboard. And under the develop section, I will go to functions. And here's my hello world function. And under the log section, I will find my log entries. This is the list of log entries. And I see that my hello world function was triggered, but it contains an error. I see the time when it was triggered. And I see that the reference error is that the last name is not defined in my expert. Okay, so what I need to do, I will need to define last name. Let's go back to our code editor. And here we read first name request parameter, but we do not read the last name. So I'll copy this line and I'll paste it and I'll create last name and I will read last name request parameter. And now we have last name. Let me save it and I'll need to redeploy it. And now when my function is redeployed, I'll go back to the browser window and I will repeat this request. I will read first name and last name the same, but I will change this value of T again so that the request is not cached. I will send the request and I'll go back to my Firebase console. And here I have a new log entry that has first name and last name present. 